What's going on guys, back with another video. And <laughs> as you guys can probably see, my room is a wreck right now. We are in the middle of redoing the lab. I'm starting this like way late in the day. It's like uh, 6.59 right now. Um, and I'm just now getting started on doing this. I got some cool updates I wanna show you guys. And uh, yeah, so let me take you guys over here. As you guys can see, it's kind of dark, but you've got a new server. Can't really see it, it's super dark. But this is the Dell PowerEdge R740. Uh, you can't see that, but it is a Dell R740. Uh, it's a base model. It's a 10 core with like eight gigs of RAM. I do have RAM on the way for it, and I do have another CPU coming pretty soon. Uh, I got the base model because it was on sale. I think it was like $1,000 off or something like that. So went ahead and picked that up. This is gonna be my, my new virtualization server. Got the R510. Uh, you know, doing backups, all that stuff. The Xserve, I'll make a video on that um, in the future. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with that. R720 XD. <laughs> now this, this is something that's evolved into more than the storage server. And then we've got the Z420 PFSense router firewall deal going on. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is where we're at right now. I've just been starting the wiring i've got the power cables ran right through there sorry for the crappy lighting but yeah i still have this arista switch it is for sale it's been for sale for the past two weeks um i did get rid of a lot of the other servers like the other two x servers and then the r410 just got sold but yeah this is kind of where we're at i'm doing the networking wiring right now yeah just doing the starting the cable management for what we're doing i can't really even use this right now i'm having some power issues i'm waiting on a ups to come in so it'll probably be another week or two before i actually get to start start <laughs> i actually get to start messing around with some of this stuff and configuring it and whatnot but yeah i'm just going ahead and getting started as you can see we're making a good amount of progress here and yeah got this cinema display here temporarily I snatched it from the main setup but yeah nothing new to see with the main setup you know just more mess more mess yeah not to do too much but yeah I'm starting this way late in the day uh, I actually had a Hackintosh project going on for the past two weeks with the R720 but I did ditch it it didn't work properly I got it to boot into uh, Catalina and then just stop working. So I might start that back up. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And yeah, but yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. Might be one day, might be two weeks, who knows? But yeah, we're redoing the home lab. Definitely some good changes with heat and power consumption. That's the main reason I started to change things up anyway. And yeah. I can't wait to start digging into this stuff. Um, now I am gonna go ahead and address why I purchased this. This was just a, a good deal overall. It was originally like, I think $2,500. I paid nowhere near that for this thing. And uh, it was a pretty okay deal. Now, yeah, it's a pretty base spec, but I do have plans to upgrade it in the future. Um, it's got this cool uh, VX flex bezel, which I happened to score off a buddy of mine. It's pretty cool. It's got the R510. This is going to be running PFSense, not PFSense, oh my gosh, ESXi instead of Windows Server. Got the Xserve, which we're going to be building into a pretty nice machine. And then the R720, which is going to be moving over to ESXi as well from Windows Server uh, 2012. This is going to be the iSCSI target for this guy right here. And I can't open this because this is locked, but this doesn't have any drives in it. Yeah, then we've got the absolutely overkill <laughs> Z420 down there, just chilling. That's the new PFSense box. But yeah, sorry about the crappy lighting. And then we got the 2960 doing its job. Yeah, coming back around. Like I said, we still got the Arista um, DCF7148. Going to be getting rid of this whenever I can. I'm really trying to downsize this to like a 16 port. Don't really need the 48 ports, but yeah. That's pretty much where we're at right now. 
And uh, as you can see, the room is an absolute mess. They're doing all this crazy stuff. But yeah, I'll update you guys when something cool happens. All right, what's going on, everyone? Uh, it is the next day, and a lot happened yesterday. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll grab these blinds here. We get some light going on in here. Uh, so, as you can see here, we got the rack all wired up. Good to go. I uh, got everything in its uh, mostly final position. I was having some issues yesterday with getting uh, ESXi back up and running on this machine. I haven't even started messing with this one. Uh, but yeah, just something that I purchased with the future in mind. So I know I could have bought like an R730 for around what I paid for this. I probably could have gotten the spec I wanted, but at the end of the day, this is what I end up going with. This is gonna be a much more capable system in the future anyway. This has the Xeon scalable CPU, so I could, in theory, have up to two 28 core processors. And I think it's like six terabytes of RAM or something crazy like that. It's absolutely wild. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I bought this, you know. The heat and power consumption of the Xers was just getting too much, especially in the small room that I have. Uh, this ended up being not too much far off what the R730 XD would be. It's still an okay spec. There's not really a whole lot of RAM in here. It's like, I think it's like 16 gigs because Dell's RAM is expensive. I do have RAM. I will be purchasing for this soon. We're going to start with, I think, 64 gigs of DDR4. I think it's 2666 ECC. We're going to start with 64 gigs um, and then we'll go up from there. But yeah, I mean, this is a first ever new computer i'm really happy with it so far it's super quiet um you know i haven't really been able to dig into it as far as esxi or vms or anything like that uh, i've been working on this guy down here the r720 xd but yeah if i could take you guys to the back oh as you can see the cable management isn't that great unfortunately but it is what it is for right now it's managed for the most part. I did end up getting a UPS yesterday night. Uh, super late Craigslist pickup. This is the APC uh, Backups XS1500. This thing is actually really, really nice. Powers everything up. Uh, with everything on, running at full-ish tilt, I think it could power it for at least like 10 minutes, which is actually really nice. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just giving you guys an update on where we're at. Um... I might go over installing uh, ESXi on this, maybe, maybe not. This was uh, just giving me all kinds of issues yesterday, trying to set up the disks and uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just rambling, nothing really new to update, but I did finish up everything and I kind of, kind of wanted to give you guys an insight on why I purchased the R740. I mean, it basically just came down to uh, what I could do in the future with it rather than the R730 because the R730 at the end of the day is going to be supported for less time and you know I, the opportunity was there I was like my first ever new computer so yeah I'm just rambling and I'll, uh, I guess I'll update you when something else exciting happens today we are working on this guy so we're going to be turning this into my new free NAS server for all my files over the network it should be nice and quick We've got an NVMe drive as well as a bunch of fast 10K SAS drives. So yeah, free NAS it is on that. We've also got uh, the H710, which I'm about to attempt to flash to IT mode. Then we can finally work on getting this thing up and running. I am waiting on parts. I just ordered 64 gigs of RAM, which was, I don't even want to talk about how expensive that was. Yeah, 64 gigs of RAM some more drive caddy so we can put some drives in here just to have local storage yeah that's about it the 510 back up we will be getting in this x service the next two months or so this is going to be a fun project but other than that that is on the agenda for today we're going to be flashing the 8710 to itu mode hopefully and i'll update you on that but as far as the hackintosh project goes if you guys really want to see that continue I, i'll buy another r720 and we'll try to get it up and running with mac os if there's enough interest in it i'll do it 
If not, then uh, I won't worry about it. If you guys want to see the R740 potentially Hackintoshed, please let me know. I will continue the project if you guys want to see it. So, yeah, I'm just going to be working on flashing the 8710 to IT mode today. And that's pretty much it off of work. And, uh, yeah. All right, so I just finished up the hardware part. I just put in a couple more of these 900 gigabyte 10K SAS drives, as well as remove the battery from the 8710 mini. I've also got a NVMe SSD as a level two cache, I think. And yeah, it should be good. And should be good to go ahead and get this thing back in the rack and start installing free mass. <laughs> so I'm about to uh, flash the card and uh, I just booted off the one of the ISO files and check out that message. <laughs> Y'all finna get flashed. I love it. Quick update um, before I go ahead and sign off for this vlog. I've got a lot of stuff done. Let's see here. So we can go ahead and take a look. So I've got FreeNAS finally installed on the R720 XD. Um, we had tons of issues just because of these four drives right here. I'm about to go and uh, either update the firmware or something on those drives, but yeah. Anyway, we've got three NAS all loaded up for the most part. Uh, it sees all the drives. I've got the um, two 10 gigabit uplinks and then the one gigabit management for free NAS. I've also got the iSCSI drives from FreeNAS loaded up and recognized on the R740. I've also got the network set up too. So we're pretty much good to go to start using the R740 as our new primary um, hypervisor. So you can go, and go over here so I can show you guys. Also, we've got 64 gigs of DDR4 going in the R740. Make a video about that at a later date. But as you can see, we've got everything up and running here. And don't mind the lights. It's because I've got, it's because of the RAID controller. It's flashed to IT mode. Um, one of the power supplies is unplugged. And apparently one of the drives is going bad maybe. So I'm going to have to dive into this another day. But yeah, in terms of... Uh, everything else being situated we've got it pretty much done only thing i've got left to do is get the r510 configured with um esxi instead of server 2019 uh definitely getting rid of that i'm actually thinking of replacing the r510 as well with something a little bit more power efficient uh as you know i was using the four x servers before as my esxi cluster and uh it wasn't power efficient it was tripping the breaker um every hour or so it was unusable it made the room very hot the power bill was way up so i basically had to choose between investing in an older platform like a nor 720 now the wise thing would the wise thing to do would have been going with something like an r730 but for the price i paid for this it was so close i could just upgrade it it is what it is this is where we're at now and that's pretty much it so yeah I'll keep you guys updated on when we do some upgrades to this. Definitely gonna get a second CPU. I've got the RAM. We're gonna start with 64 gigs and then go up from there. But yeah, it's pretty much it, guys. You know, not a whole lot else more to do that can include on this vlog. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.